Hello and welcome to White Horse Music TV! My name is Richard Badina and I'm co-owner of this wonderful shop with my lovely wife Michelle Badina, who's not here today unfortunately. A music stand is holding the camera. Um, so today I am doing a video for the famous Amelia. She's interested in some violins. Um, she's interested in, in Glieger and Struna, which is good because we've got Glieger and Struna. So um, first off, I will show you the Gliegers. So this is a Glieger 2 and this is a Glieger 1. In the Glieger workshop, they go Glieger, well, the Glieger's available to us anyway. They go 3 as the sort of like starting model and then 2. Next quality of wood, next quality of workmanship. Uh, next quality of varnishing as well and then one top model of that student sort of range the one twos and threes so Gliga 2 is the sort of like the middle of the range in those ones and the Gliga 1 is the top of the range of those student -y ones um, and so the differences are yeah how I said the the wood and the workmanship the varnishing is a big thing so they have um, with the better models They'll do more layers of very fine varnish, which allows the wood to vibrate the way it wants to. So with the three, for instance, it's very sort of almost monochrome, the, the colours, where with the, the two, you get more variance. You've got sort of like a, a yellowy undercoat that you can sort of see shining through. And then and you've got um, uh, about six layers from memory of this very, very fine varnish hand applied. And it's quite an expensive process to be hand applying, you know, six layers of oil varnish because it has to, you know, each one has to set and be sanded back and that sort of thing. So, but um, if they're very, very fine, lots of layers, it allows the wood to vibrate the way it wants to. With the Gliga one, they have more layers of that varnish and more finely done. Um, and then obviously the quality of wood and the quality of workmanship is a big thing. There's definitely, when you go from the three up to the two, oh my gosh, it's like um, a huge difference in the quality of the way they're made. I end up doing a lot of work just to even finishing Gliga threes when I get them sometimes, where with the Gliga two, they're much better quality in, in the way they're finished and Gliga one, you know, a huge, difference in the way they're made as well and they pay more attention to the thicknessing of the wood as well which allows the wood to you know make the sound that we want it to to make so um the Gliga 2s are not always dark the Gliga 1s are not always light colored like that this just happens to be a dark antique varnish Gliga 2 and this is a antique varnish Gliga 1 it doesn't look very antique to bring it closer to the camera it's just the antique maybe refers to the fact that it's not um, you know, it's more than one colour. You've got the, you know, lighter colour underneath and the darker colour on the top, which has been faded back. Um, and then, so, they look quite different. Both made in Romania under the instruction of Vasil Gliga. Um, not actually made by him, otherwise they'd be besquillions of dollars. Uh, and then we have the Struners that Amelia is also interested in. Uh, this one here, I'll show you this one first, that is Struna Classroom. And they, despite being called Classroom, are one of our most beautiful looking violins, I would say. Have a look at the antiquing there. So they're really trying to copy an antique violin. You'll see the F holes are a little bit more elongated and slightly different shape to the Strunas. That's because they're copying a Guarneri violin, famous violin maker 300 years ago or so, um, Guarneri, uh, where the Strun the Gliegers are made as copies of um, Stradivariuses, those particular ones that we have. Yeah, a lot of violins that you see will be copies of Stradivariuses, but I find the Struners, they do the Guarneri shape really well and they sound the best, and so I always order them in uh, Guarneri shape. So that's um, the Struna concert, sorry, classroom. And then this is the concert, which you'll see has a little bit of a reddish tinge to it. So it looks a little bit different. Whoa, check out the back on that Struna concert. So beautiful. So same sort of deal with the Strunas as there is with the, the Gliegers. 
you know, um, we, as they go up in models, better quality wood, better workmanship. Um, these both use Russian spruce on the front, but the Russian spruce is of different ages. You know, the older the wood, the more mature the tone, more settled and that sort of thing. So um, slightly higher quality wood on the Struna concert. Doesn't always mean that it sounds better. Struna classroom sometimes surprises, surprises me. So that is what they look like. I'm going to play these things because they're not furniture. We have to compare the sound. All right, so first of all, I will compare the Gliga 2 and the Struna Classroom because they're both sort of in the same sort of price range and then I'll compare the Gliga 1 and the Struna Concert and that'll be interesting, bit of competition. All right, so Gliga 2. quite gleagery sounding so gleagery is <laughs> quite sort of mellow relaxed sounding but some gleagers are more uh, are so mellow that they can be become a little bit muffled this is not like this I would say this is much more on the brighter side of the gleagers so that is the gleager 2 sound uh, and this is the Struna classroom <laughs> a huge difference between those hopefully it's coming through on the camera but the Gliga 2 is very reserved and the uh, the Struna classroom is like an explosion of volume in comparison similar sort of depth I would say but just different in volume the the Struna is more sort of big strong ringing very deep as well where the Gliga is more sort of relaxed I'll play them again but this time I'll play them quickly one after another, just really simple quickly. Oh yeah, <laughs> so different, my gosh, you know, um, each one is its own individual thing. If I had 10 Gliga 2s, they'll all sound a little bit different to the extent that you can get quite bright ones and quite very, very mellow ones. But in that particular case, the Struna classroom is an enormous difference in volume. If volume is what you want, Struna classroom in that case. If it's not what you want, then Gliga 2 is what you want. All right, now let's jump up. This will be interesting because we're jumping up to Gliga 1 versus Struna Concert. Very different looking creatures. All right, let's have a play. So, Gliga 1 first. Oh, you can tell it's Gliga 1 because it's got a little Gliga warranty thingy on there. different to the other two that I was trying. So it's, it is reserved like the Gliga 2, but it's got so much more depth. It's got a lot of depth and it's even more mellow, I would say. Not so much bright edge. You know how I was saying the Gliga 2 is more um, of a, on the brighter side in terms of the Gligas? Well, this Gliga 1 is um, one of the more mellow and deep sounding Gligas. Now I'll compare that 
to the stream of concert. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so this Strina concert, I mean, there's a big jump up in terms of depth from the, um, the Gliga 2 and the Strina Classroom. I would say the Strina Classroom maybe has a bit more depth than the Gliga 2, but there's a bit of a jump up. Once we've gone to the Gliga 1 and the Strina concert, they're very, very deep sounding. Um, but the Gliga 1 is very reserved with its depth where the Gliga, oh, there's someone calling. They've maybe decided to buy all of these. Um, the Gliga, there's the Strina concert is much more sort of strong and ferocious with its, ferocious with its depth. I will play them straight away, one after the other. sort of more similarities about those two than there are between the Gliga 2 and the Struna classroom. They both have very consistently similar sort of depth, a similar amount of ring to the sound, but they but they definitely are Gliga and Struna. Like that Gliga I reckon is more mellow sounding than the Gliga 2 that was played before, so quite reserved in that way, where the um, Struna concert is is quite sort of you know strong and and bright but depth wise and ring wise and the ring and the sustain wise very very similar so yeah i i would actually struggle to choose myself so maybe you can help um help amelia um choose which one she should get so maybe in the comments below say amelia look really you need to get that one or Preferably tell her to get all of them because that'll help me. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye.